have a set of hand weights under my chair. I have my water bottle. We are starting by having a seat on the chair. Sit far enough forward on your chair so your feet are flat, your toes are pointing straight ahead, our arms drop down by the side. It's a big shoulder roll. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Ah. Take a couple breaths as you roll the shoulders back and down. Here is your inhale. Take a big inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, you blow it out. We have two more of these. Reach up, take your inhale. Exhale, blow it out. One more time, big inhale, reach all the way up. Blow it out, right arm comes up, side stretch, lengthen the right side of your body, right here, you know that length. Drop the right arm, lift the left. One more time on each side, we lift the right arm. Now think more of a lengthen up through your rib cage, this side of your body. Arm goes down, here's the other side, left arm up. Lengthen the side. Bring your hands to your lap, cow cat. We're gonna lift our chest, take an inhale. Now this is to move through your spine. Think of moving through each section of your back, your mid back, your upper back, your low back, your neck. We catch it all as you lift and you release. We'll do one more. Feel the inhale as you lift your chest. Exhale, round, release, sit up tall. Let the top of your head touch the ceiling, gentle twist, right. Twist left, just gentle, small twist. We'll do this one more time on each side. We twist to the right. We twist to the left. Bring yourself to the front. We're gonna stretch our fingers, lift our toes. Make a fist, lift your heel. Now feel that full extension all the way through your fingertips and make a fist as your thumb reaches towards your pinky. Your toes will come up, your heels come up. We'll do that again. Stretch your fingers, lift your toes, make a fist. Lift your heels. We'll do this one more time. Lift. Right here, feet are flat, wrist circles. There's your chance. Move your wrists around in one direction. Move your wrists in the other direction. Lift your right leg enough to add ankle circles. Take the ankle in one direction. Ankle in the other direction. Set the foot down. Lift the left leg, ankle circle around. Ankle circle around. Set the foot down, lift the right leg. Maybe it's a little, maybe it's big, you know where it works. Pull your toes to the ceiling, point your toes to the floor. Pull the toes up, point the toes down. It's a pull. It's a point, foot goes down. Here is the other side. Hug the leg in, pull the toes up, point them down. Pull and point, pull and point. Legs go straight out in front of you. Heels are on the floor, toes are up, arms are in front. And now you push the feet down, pull the elbows back. Push to the front, toes come up. Elbows back, feet down, toes up, push to the front. There's your push and pull. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Two. One more time. Go into out, out, in, in. Feet come in. This is your out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Now this might be a big move, it might be a small move. Just depends what works. Four more, there's four, three, two. 
Now you're gonna do opposite arm, opposite leg. Here it comes, arm and leg up and bring it down. Arm and leg up, bring it down. Here's your lift and lower, lift, lower. Four, three, two. Now get ready. Out, out, in, in, go left. It's an out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Now you can always take your arms up higher. That's if you want more intensity, you take your arms where they work. Just keep in mind if it doesn't feel good for your shoulders, you skip it. One more time, let's do hip circles. Right leg is gonna circle out and slide in. Here comes that circle out, slide in. Left leg, circle out, slide in. It's a circle, slide, circle, slide. Circle out, slide in. Circle out, slide in. One more time on each side. Here comes slide out, circle in. Slide and circle. Slide, circle. Slide, circle. Slide, circle. We'll do four more. Four, three, two, let your legs stop, feet flat, arms come up, reach them all the way up. Now slide the hands behind your head. Press your head into your hands, open the elbows, take an inhale, squeeze the elbows to the front as you exhale. Open to the side with an inhale, squeeze as you exhale. Open with an inhale, squeeze as you exhale. One more time, open and squeeze. Now keep the elbows open, add a little twist. Just a little twist to the right, center, little twist to the left. Now we're keeping the elbows wide and think, move through the upper back right here. Little twist to one side. We'll do this one more time on each side. Little twist to the right, twist left, bring it to center, slide your fingers to your shoulders, elbow circles. Take your elbows up and around, up and around. Feel the shoulder mobility right here. We'll do one more big circle. Open your arms to the side, lift your chest, take your inhale. Hug a big ball as you exhale. Do that again, lift your chest, inhale. Hug a ball, exhale. Two more, lift with an inhale. Hug as you exhale. One more time, open. Hug, arms come by your side. We're gonna sweep our arms up and down. That means fingertips down as you go up and fingers up as you go down. Here comes sweep up, inhale, sweep down, exhale. Sweep up, inhale, sweep down. We're doing one more, inhale, take it up. Exhale, bring it down, take your arms to the side, add little circles to the back. As you take the circles, add a little march here, big or small. Keep the march, change the direction. The arms go in the other direction. They're coming to the front. Take a couple more. And now bring your elbow across to your knee. We're gonna do a little diagonal. You're gonna take your elbow across. Take your elbow across. Take your elbow across. Now be nice to your back. We're gonna think more of a core as you take the elbow across. There's four, three, Two, cross your arms in front, add a lean forward. Your feet are flat on the floor. You hold your belly in, you add your lean to the front. Feet stay flat, 
And now little lean to the back, right there, core. Hold it, zip, soft in the, the chest, the collarbone. Sit up tall, add your lean to the front. Sit tall, add your lean to the back. Ears lean to the front. Lean to the back. We'll do that one more time. Lean to the front. Lean back. Now sit up tall, bring your arms in front, a little cross in the front, feet are still flat. Add a twist right, twist left. We twist right and left. There's four, three, two. Hands come to your lap. Here comes torso circle. Circle the upper body up and around. Think of this string pulling the top of your head away from your tailbone. We take it around. We change directions. Take it in the opposite direction. Finish this one right here. Relax the body, take a little sip of water, and we're going to start by bringing ourselves up to standing. We're going to start with some deadlifts, which means we're going to stand next to the chair. Bring yourself all the way up, and then when you're ready, we're going to start with our deadlifts. Now, you could take your hands to your thighs, you could cross them in front, wherever it works, the heels under hips. And this is when you push the hips back and then you bring yourself up. This move is meant for your butt and your hamstrings. That's the back of your thighs. So I want you to really focus on engage the back side before you come up. And then we have to have our core engaged as you go down and up. So think hips. Push back, they touch the wall behind you, and then you bring it up. We're doing three more of these. Here's your three. Here's your two. One more time. And when you finish this one, stay up tall. Bring yourself all the way up and add a march. We're gonna march it here. Now, big or small, whatever works for you, that's where your march is going to be. You can pump your arms if you want. Think of this, we're marching, so you're on one foot at a time. A couple more marches. Feet stop, we're gonna face our chair. First, I'm going to have you take a stretch. You're going to take, now you can go hands to the chair. You could take fists. So if your wrists ever bother you, you can make it a fist. And right here, I want you to think, push the hips back and give yourself a stretch down the back of the legs. That means you have to have a little bend in your knees. So if you're locking your knees out, you're going to miss out on some of the fun. And then careful, bring yourself all the way up. Shake it out a little, and we're going to work our glutes and our hamstrings from this position. You're going to bring yourself, set your hands on the chair. Now, you could do fists. You could do hands. I'm going to use fists today, but you could go all the way down on your hands. Stand on the back leg. Make sure there's a little bend in the knee. Your front leg is out, and then all we're going to do is lift that heel to the ceiling and bring it down. Now, what I want you to do is keep your toes pointing towards the floor so your hip keeps facing the floor. And now we're lifting with your hamstring and your glutes. We're working on strengthening the legs right here. 
We have five to go on this side. There's five. Four, you don't have to lift up high, it's where it works for you. Three. Two. Here comes one. You can stand up. Give yourself a little break. Stand all the way up. Shake out the legs. We have the other side to go. Take your break. A little shake, 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 shake. Now set yourself back up wherever you want to take it. Now you're going to stand on the front leg. Make sure you have a little bend in the knee. Keep your toes towards the floor. Lift the leg and bring it down. Now you could keep the movement small. This might be perfect right here. Now, as long as you focus on lifting the leg with the hamstring and the glutes, you're going to get the benefits of the movement. It could be a big or small. Now, we keep our core engaged so we don't arch our back. Keep your back flat. Five, four, Three, two, there's one, set the foot down, bring yourself up. You can do a little shake, 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 shake out. We're going to take some squats while we're here. Right here, you're going to take your hips back, take your little squat, and then bring it all the way up. Now I'm keeping my squat small because the goal is to push your bum backwards, right there's that little push and bring it up. Little down, push into your feet, bring it up just like we do in the chair. Think of how you push your feet, your heels into the floor as you come up, do the same thing. Three, two, one more time, bring yourself all the way up right here. You can face the front. We're going to do little leg swings. That is to loosen up the leg. So there is your little swing forward back, and you might keep it a little bit smaller. The goal is to loosen up the hip. Finish to this side. Take it to the other side. There's your swing. Finish it right there. Let's stand behind our chair. Take some side lunges. So we've been working in the forward. Now we're going to work a little side to side. You're going to slide off to one side. Center, slide off to the other side. Center. Here's your slide. And your slide. Let's do four. Three, two, one more time. Bring yourself right to the center. Take a couple plies. You're going to let your knees open and bring it up. Think of that same concept. You're going to push into the bottoms of your feet. Bring it up. Squeeze your bum as you come up as well. Knees stay soft at the top. Take it down and bring it up. Three more here. Down and up. We have two. Down, up. One more time. Bring yourself up. Let your toes face the front. Walk your feet in. Step touch side to side. Stepping side to side. Your choice if you want to step up and over. Maybe you add a push of your arms to the front as you go up and over. Front leg goes over, back leg goes over. Take it up and over. Four more of these. Here's your four. Three, two, finish this one. Stay behind your chair. We're going to do some side leg lifts. 
Stand on the left leg. Chair is here if you want it for balance, but you can take your hands to your hips, throw it to the side. Lift the right leg. So think, lift the heel to the ceiling and bring it down. Lift the leg, bring it down. Again, we're not worried about how high the leg goes. I want you to focus on using the butt to lift the leg. There's your up and down. Three, two, finish this one, foot goes down, take it to the other side. Here it comes, lift the heel and bring it down. Lift the heel towards the side, bring it down. Lift, even think about squeeze the leg down, then you can catch your inner thigh as well. You have three more to go. Resist out, squeeze together. Resist out, squeeze together one more time. And then finish that hip circles. Take your hips around. Loosen it up right here. This should feel good. Now you're going to change directions. Take it in the other direction. Bring yourself next to your chair. We're gonna add some marching. From this marching, we're gonna move forward back. I want you to work on the backward. So right here, you're gonna march in the space you have, and you're gonna march back in the space that you have. There's your march to the front, and your march to the back. And now you're gonna go whatever pace works for you. You might wanna take your time. You want to work on keeping your chin level. So if you like to look to the floor, see if you can keep your chin level as you walk forward and back. We will finish next to our chair. When you finish your move, just march next to your chair. Come back into your march. Now we're gonna work on strengthening our quadriceps. We did our hamstrings, we did the outside and the inside. You can hold on to your chair, you're gonna take your right leg in front and then add a little leg lift and bring it down. You can pull your toes up so you lift the leg. And again, I'm not worried about how high the leg goes, it's where it works for you. So you can work the quadricep. There's your lift. And your lower, lift, lower. Here's five, four, three, two. You have one more to go. And then shake the leg up. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Here comes the other side. You're standing on the leg you just lifted. Toes are towards the ceiling. Add the lift. And the lower. Lift. Lower. Up. And down. Up. And down. Now, if you happen to hold your breath, think about exhaling. You know, sometimes we concentrate and part of that is holding our breath, but we really want to focus, let the breath out. We don't need to hold it. You have two to go here. There's one and there's two. Now I'm going to have you relax the leg, shake it out. We're going to work on a balance move next and I just want you to shake the legs out. Balancing after we do leg exercises Sometimes it makes you a little bit more wobbly. I'm just telling you that so you don't get frustrated with yourself if you feel like you're a little more wobbly. We did a lot of leg stuff already. So we're going to take our heel behind us. You might choose chair, toes down, or you could lift the heel behind you. And there, we're going to work on the balance as you hold it here. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Set the leg down, and then we take it to the other side. So find your balance. And then when you're ready, maybe it's a lift, maybe not, chair, no chair. There isn't a right way. It's whatever is going to work for you today. And you're already at three, two, one. Shake it out. We're going to do a tight rope around our chair. We're going to walk around our chair doing your tight rope. That's your heel toe. Now take your time. This is about balance. So we don't want to go so fast that we can't focus on the balancing part of it. Same idea, we try to keep our chin level as you take it around your chair. And then finish it. So when you're all done, take your time. Take your time. We'll all meet with a little march next to our chair. We're actually going to bring it far enough behind our chair. Double step touch to this side when you're ready. So we'll just, when you're ready, here's that double step touch. Two to one side, two to the other side. And then remember the option of step, cross, step and tap, step, cross, step and tap. Maybe you add your arms as you step and cross. Now that's always an option. You don't have to add that. You could use your chair, step, cross, step and tap. Let's do four more, four, three, two, finish this one, come behind your chair. Let's add some heel lifts, just real quick. Heels under hips, hands can be on your chair or not. Lift the heels up, maybe it's just a little heel lift, maybe you go a little higher. And then you bring it all the way down. We have our heel lift, and you have your paws at the top, and you bring it down. Here's the lift up, pause, bring it down. Let's do that one more time. Heels go up, heels come down. Now keep the heels down, take a big inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, blow it out. Let's do that one more time. Take a big inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, blow it up. We're adding stretches while we're standing today. Take the right leg behind the left leg as long as it's okay for your hips. This is not meant for everybody. And then once you do that, the right arm comes up. Think first you touch the ceiling and then a little wink. Bring this side down, uncross this leg, left goes behind right. Once you have that, fingertips go up. First, touch the ceiling and then lean. Bring yourself up, relax the arm, uncross the legs. Keep holding on to the chair and push your hips behind you. There's a good stretch for the hamstring, possibly the glutes, little low back. Bring yourself up. Take the right foot towards the back of the chair. Left foot steps back. This is to stretch your calf. You're going to press the heel into the floor behind you. Take a look, see if you have a straight line. So first we hold the stretch here. Now add a little bend to the knee, the back knee. There is a little bend. It changes where the stretch is in the lower leg. Bring it up, switch legs. Left goes towards the back of the chair, right steps back. Heel presses into the floor. Little look, see if your heel, it's a straight line from the toes to the heel. Hold the stretch there. 
And now add a little bend of the knee. That's gonna give you, and when I say bend of the knee, that's the back leg. Now you're catching the soleus. Then you bring yourself all the way up. Since we have the chair, you're gonna add a couple ankle circles, loosen up the ankles a little bit here, change directions. Now you do this same thing on the other side, circle the ankle and take it around. We're gonna have a seat. If you wanna grab a sip of water, grab a sip of water. We're gonna start adding in some of our work with our weights. So once you have your sip of water, we're gonna grab our hand weights, one in each hand. Rows are going to be first, and then we'll move on from there. When we row, make sure you're far enough forward on your chair. Arms are coming by your side. Lean forward, pull your elbows back. Back to your hips, and bring it down. Elbows back and release it down. There's your up and your down, up and down. We lift, we will. Five, four, three, Two. Now bring yourself all the way up. Palms face the front, instead of tall, add your bicep curls. Here's your curl up and slow it down. Now the biceps are meant for the front of the upper arms. This is, you'll feel these whenever you're carrying your grocery bags. There's the lift and slow it down. Lift, slow it down. There's three, two. Finish this one. We're gonna work on the tricep, which is the back of the upper arm. I'm gonna come to this side so you can see my arm better. You're gonna take your lean forward like we did for the row. You're gonna pull the elbow up. You're gonna keep the elbow there and then push back at a bend of the elbow. The shoulder never moves. The only thing moving is your elbow. There's the push and the bend. Push and bend. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax the arm. We have the other side to go. You're gonna swing yourself over to the other side. Here it comes, lean forward, elbow comes up, keep it there, elbow goes straight, elbow bends. Straight and bend. Extend and bend. Shoulder is completely still, only the elbow is moving, so we can focus on the back of the arm. Four to go, you're almost there. There's your four, three. I hope you're exhaling as you take the weight out. You have two to go. One more time. And then carefully bring yourself up. We're coming back to biceps. This time take your biceps out to the side. You're gonna have your hands out to the side more. Then we're gonna catch a different angle as you curl up and you bring it down. Curl up, slow it down. Lift and lower, lift, lower. We have five to go. Here's five, four, Three, 
to finish this one. Arms are going to stay straight. Have your palms face the back. Add a little lean forward. And then press your arms back. And then drop them straight down. So it's a little press back. Range of motion, it can be small as you lift and release, lift, release. Remember again, breathe, exhale. Usually when you take that little press is your exhale for four, three, two. We are ending with some overhead presses. Sit up nice and tall, take your weights by your side, and then push and bring it down. Push and bring it down. There's your up and down, up and down. There's three. This is a good one, pull in the core, keep yourself solid in your center. Here's your last one. Bring your weights down, set one on your lap, keep one in your hand, lean, do your rag down. Little circles so you can relax your arm right here. We did biceps, triceps, little bit of shoulder. Use the weight to let the arm relax. Change directions with the circle. This is the beginning of the stretching. Keep that in mind. This is more of a relaxing movement. Bring yourself all the way up. Take it over to the other side. Arm drops now. And then just let it relax as you take the arm around in one direction. Circle it around. And now you take it around in the other direction. Start bringing yourself up. We're gonna set the weights underneath our chair. Grab a sip of water if you'd like to have a sip of water. We're gonna start stretching everything out. Today I'm gonna to start with the hand behind your back. There's the stretch for your shoulder. Drop the ear. Lift the head, relax the right arm. Take the left arm behind, drop the ear. Lift the head, take your hands to your lap. Cow cat, let's move through our spine, lift your chest, take an inhale. Drop the chin to the chest, run through your spine, exhale. Here's the lift up as you inhale. Round as you exhale. Do that one more time. Smooth, fluid, make it feel good. Sit up nice and tall. Open your legs up wide. Drop down to your elbows. Little forward stretch here. Take it as low as works for you. Right arm drops. Sweep it around. Here's this stretch for the side. Walk the right leg out. Big stretch. Slide the leg in. Bring your forearm down. Other side, arm sweeps around. The leg walks out. Open your chest to the front, to the ceiling. Make it feel good. Arm comes down. Forearm is to the thigh. Now you're going to drop the right arm, press it against your right thigh, lift the left arm, and it might be a little lift. This is a twist. Twists are not meant for everybody. Now we switch sides. Take the left arm against the left leg and then bring it up. Arm comes down one last time, little forward fold. Slowly bring yourself up that so you don't get dizzy, you take your time. 
Legs can come in, right leg goes out in front of you. Here's the lean, feel the stretch. Bring it up, slide the right leg in, take the left leg out. There's the lean. Bring yourself up, slide the leg in. Fingertips are going up. Drop the right hand behind, tricep stretch. We stretched out, we worked our triceps. Feel the stretch. Fingertips go up. Left hand drops behind. There is the lift. Fingertips go up, arms open to the side, big hug, right arm on the bottom, take your hug. Lift the elbows, make it feel good. Arms open to the side, here's the hug, left arm on the bottom. Elbows come up just enough to get that big opening. Arms open up, now take your palms, Together, press them in front of your chest. Lift your elbows, stretch your wrists. Drop the elbows, take your fingertips towards the floor. There's your wrist stretch in the other direction. Push your palms to the front. Arms are straight, as straight as you can get them. Fingertips to drop. Again, we try to keep our elbows straight. Thumb can come right into the crease of your wrist, a little extra stretch. Switching sides if you chose to add that. And then relax it, take your wrist circles, one direction, the other direction. Hands are on your lap, sit up tall, look over your right shoulder, neck stretch. Look over your left shoulder. Look to the front, drop your chin to your chest. Lift your chin to the ceiling. Look to the front. Twist to the right, hands to the outside of your thigh. Sit up tall, now turn your head, look over your right shoulder, and let your eyes go back a little bit further. Bring yourself to the front, and now the other direction. Hands go to the outside on the left. Turn your head, and now let your eyes go back a little bit further. Face the front, arms are by your side. Take a big shoulder roll, shoulders come up, back, and down. And now big inhales. Take your inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, blow it out. We have two more. Reach up with your inhale. Blow it out as you exhale. One more time, big inhale, reach up. Exhale, blow it out. And thank you all very much.